we're going to be taking a look at the trading ranges in Google next week with the quarter ending. We can clearly see that 910 was a daily reversal on a 60 minute level. This particular name is not totally sold out, but it found a bottom on a weekly level at 874. That's going to be the lower support level down in this area on a 60 minute chart. We're also going to be trading LinkedIn. Here is a daily looking style chart with it. Uh, 160 being the lower end. 185 puts we bought. We got support in the quadruple witch at 171,450. We're going to go over to the short component right here. We're going to take a look at both sides of these markets. Here's the LinkedIn right here. So what are we going to be looking at? We're going to be going to a June weekly. That's a 628 contract. We're going to take a look at the money. We're going to be doing a 170 call at the money. We're going to look at the 175. We'll have that loaded and we'll do the 180 call right back up there where that major reversal was. Now, as far as the put side goes, we're going to run the put side. We're going to run these in the money. What am I going to do here is I'm going to run the same put side. I'm going to do the strike prices in the following manner. In, in the monthly contract, I want to watch some of these put prices that are, let's say, uh, 175s, the 180s, and the 185s. But I'm, I'm also going to want th that 628. I'm going to want those same strike prices. I'm going to want the 185. We can clearly see that the 185 puts, if I can get a chart on it for you, is right here they went straight up in value on that weekly contract that's in the money 185 put the 180 puts that are in the money are behind me they went from 1540 to 1860 in value the other side of this market that I want to be very thoughtful about is take a look right here Here's the 175 put that peaked out and it can't, but look at where the breakout was at 240. They got inflated. Look at here. This is a put option at the 175 strike price. So we can clearly see the 175s. Let's take a look at this 180. I mean the 170. We can clearly see they went from a dollar to $4 which is currently at the strike, but this was the trading ranges and they're 628 contracts. They're right here. So we're going to load both sides. That's on LinkedIn. Another trade we're going to be doing for the quarters, so we're going to be looking at where the major resistance was that during the quad triple witch here on the daily, we had a breakout straight up to that $910 price target and they came back on that nice reversal right here to that 880 somewhere in there. So what we're going to be doing, just to make it short, is that on the 60-minute level of Google, we can clearly see that 910 reversal on a 60-minute level, but we can see where the current bottom of the ranges are. However, the reason why we're going to be looking at the put side first is Google's not on sell right now. Um, Google needs to pull back to these 860 areas, so we're going to be watching it only had that two-day reversal it's one of the strongest ones out here but still it's not on sell so therefore we have to look at the put side market of our first transaction on Google I'm going to conclude the daily chart on Google as far as looking at it in our market maker 60-minute chart of Google and the MMT market maker platform we can clearly see that 910 up there we can clearly see in our platform how the support and resistance lines and the values of what the trading platform tell us as far as being long going up and then getting short in the very shorter time frame what I would like to tell the MMTs that on Monday the teeny or the half one quarter delta value is four dollars and forty two cents that's the value of each one of those lines okay having said that on a 60 minute level we put the low end right here and we bounced in the overall ranges on this first support level that we have created that the market maker platform has identified it right to the penny there and this is where the major breakout was and the pullback to, to the breakout of the highs we tested that 
these were the actual lows of where it all started was way back over here at 847 that means that Google's not on sale it's tradable up to the next resistance we'll be looking at the 890 puts the 895s and ultimately the 900s if we hold support we'll be looking at the 865 call 870 call 875 call and naturally we'll have the 880 call in there but we want to know what the value of these calls are right now so if I show Google on a call chart I would want to say to you what would be the best value right now we're gonna have all of those loaded but we're gonna look at a 628 contract it's right here so basically we're gonna look at what this right here this is the calls the calls are not uh, this is 60 minute call chart but look at down here at eight dollars is where they were they're still retail up here on this call side I mean they're not as retail as 32 but th that's when they get super inflated and have to come down MMT so it's always the case so when we're looking at where the call side is if I take a look at the 890 or yes in the money put it's ten dollars in the money right here it's at its all-time lows of four dollars and popped up ten damn dollars yeah that's the 890 put okay the uh, 885 put which is behind me here here's the 885 put went on a 60 minute level look at that so the put option got up here and it's pulling back off of its highs that's what the 885 put looks like and once again the 895 put well it made a peak and pulled back so we can see where some of the short-term put options for calendar 628 within the actual component ranges expiration date 628 MMT that's going to conclude the calls and the put side so I just want you to know we're gonna load this these puts could still come down in value depending on the opening bell on Google however the put side of the market in like I say in a five-day pricing range is what we're going to be defining at what wholesale and retail is so I'm going to conclude the video with LinkedIn and Google